Hey everybody, Zarcasm here. Welcome to another episode of Tech It. In the last episode, we... Clear this out of the way. Last episode, we set up a quarry. Yeah. Um, I've let it uh, kind of dig down a ways. Not sure what level it's at. Um, don't particularly want to jump down there myself. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've kind of let it let it go a little bit and uh, also along with that we set up a pipe back into our our humble abode um, so let's let's go check it out check out our loot so far all of our good stuff going into this crystal chest here um, so I there was actually a couple more iron than this but uh, I've had to use some of it uh, because I've made some changes in here ah yes uh, I've kind of cleared it up a little bit, uh, sealed up this little hallway that was down there, tried to light it up a little bit better. Um, you'll notice kind of a dirt patch there, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I was just trying to make, make it a little bigger. You'll notice two more macerators here. I uh, wanted to get some, some more macerating power done. Uh, and I've split the overclockers up a little bit. We're back to one overclocker here. And the master, everything has one overclocker except the macerators have two each. And I'm working on making a couple more, as you can see. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, I actually had to move this stupid uh, lever up one because when it was right here, it was actually changing the orientation of the one-way pipe every time I flipped the lever. So, uh, so I, like I ended up with rubber balls in the compressor, and I'm was like, what? and started sitting here doing this and yeah so yeah uh, so I moved the little indicator off to the side and I don't know if you can tell I kinda had to redo the pipe work in the back a little bit um, so now it kinda comes off to the right and then zigzags back around but it's it's okay it's all good um, and of course got some wiring under the floor to power these these babies um, and of course the junk that's been coming from the quarry has been going under the floor and into the energy condenser back here. I've actually been using it to make coal because uh, I was getting a bit low on coal. So, so yeah. Um, uh, first, first and foremost, I just wanted to kind of thank everybody for the. Ah, well, first and foremost, I want to fix that morning. Okay, there we go. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you know everybody for all their comments. Uh, they're all they're all greatly appreciated. Um, and I just wanted to kind of remind everybody that episodes one through ten were all pre-recorded on one day. So uh, you know I've been trying to answer, been trying to reply to everybody's comments at the very least. Um, but I know some people have kind of made some suggestions, and uh, and you know don't worry, they're they're coming, they're coming. Um, in this episode, I wanted to uh, I wanted to touch base on something that I really recommend getting done early. Go ahead and turn that off. And for that, I'm gonna need my diamond and some of my uranium. I know I should be keeping my uranium, but I don't know. We're not gonna need it for a while, and. Uh, this is an investment for the future. <laughs> so let's put our our coal up somewhere. Right here is fine. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna need a couple of diamonds. One, two, eh, one more. Yeah, I need a couple of diamonds. Um. Uh. I'm going to do something that's a little unnecessary, but, eh. Whatevs. Where's my... Oh, I've got the wood on me. Okay. Get me a chest. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do right now is make another energy condenser for another setup I'm going to be doing. Now, this is probably going to be loud again. 
Wow, wow. Oh, I forgot I actually upgraded the overclockers in the furnace. <laughs> so, done a little bit off screen, not too much, so don't worry, you guys haven't missed much. Um, so, yeah, let me just get let me just get this taken care of. I need some iron. This is the this is the longest parts about tech it, you know, sitting sitting in a room getting stuff done. All right. Now just cuz I can't remember it does take stone. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it was cobble or normal stone. Some tin in there. <laughs> Doing good on our tin. A little bit low on everything else. But that's all right. That's all right. Well, got a plenty of copper. See this these project tables are pretty handy for storage, you know. I mean, just, you know, pretty handy, pretty handy. Um, I am going to need some obsidian. Because I'm just, you know, like I said, just making another energy condenser. Um, oh God. Don't need that much obsidian. I feel like obsidian should be... I don't know. I feel like it should be worth more. <laughs> just, uh, just my opinion there. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna set. Yeah, good. I have exactly enough. Exactly enough. Okay, so let's make another alchemical chest, like so. Uh, diamond in the middle, I think. Like that. Yes. Alright, alchemical chest. Now let's make another energy condenser. Sorry about that phone call. I had to answer real quick. Okay. Move it off to the side now. What was it again? I think it was a cross. And some obsidian. Okay, got another energy condenser. Now, what I'm going to do next, I uh, actually need some glowstone. Some some stone, some glowstone stone, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, and okay. So, what I want to get into now is uh, a little bit of equivalent exchange. You now, now we got some resources coming in. Um, we we want to get some more, obviously. Uh, and this is something I've learned to be. Uh, very beneficial. So, you want to start this as early as possible once you get a good steady stream of resources. So, first of all, we need we're going to need two blocks of diamonds. <laughs> so, yeah, it's already expensive. Um, next thing we're going to need is a furnace, just a normal furnace. Uh, now, what we're making is uh, we're going to be making an energy collector, and I also need some glass. We're making an energy collector. Energy collector is made out of glass, glowstone, um, furnace, and diamond block. This is an energy collector uh, mark one. There's actually three additions, so you can upgrade this later on. But this is the this is the first one you want to make. And you're actually going to want to make many of these, but we're going to start slow. So we'll make, so we've got one. We can actually teach this to our transmutation table, just to give you an idea of how much that's worth. I think that's like two obsidian, not obsidian, uh, two uranium's worth. Yeah, because uranium's like 49, that's 82, so we could, uh, hmm, might sacrifice some uranium, actually. <laughs> I don't know, anyway, anyway, just, just giving you that for a frame of reference. Next thing we need to make is uh, our, an energy relay, and it's kind of the same principle, glass, diamond block, this time obsidian, no need for a furnace though, just a full bit of obsidian, uh, oh, an antimatter relay, I guess these are called, um, and this is the same thing as the collector, There's uh, this is a Mark I, there's three iterations of it that you just continually upgrade, um, but, you know, we'll get there. So, what I... I'm going to do stick my let's get these in my hot bar. Um, I'll do the way third block. I have added another floor to my humble abode. 
as you can see up here yes so we got kind of a, a sunroof going on um, this kind of goes out to the trapdoor area so I guess I could have come up the ladder but yeah I forgot that was there but anyway so the way the energy collectors work is they collect it's kind of like a solar panel I guess you could say it's e uh, equivalent exchanges version of a solar panel um, yeah I guess that's I guess that's fair to say yeah so but anyway it, it collects energy off of uh, off of you know light uh, but since the collectors are also made out of glowstone they also kind of generate their own light so they'll still run in the dark uh, but they won't run as efficiently now what you want to do is you want to chain these together so the so the collector will act as the solar panel and uh, collect in the energy and pr produce the energy uh, you want to put it next to a relay which the relay will it will take the energy from the collector and, and store it basically it's a, the relay is a storage medium but if you put the relay next to another equivalent exchange device i.e. you know the energy collector or energy condenser they will actually work together in a chain so I'm gonna put my relay next to my energy condenser and then put a, the collector next to it now you'll notice the collector as you can see here it's it's getting energy and uh, I haven't completely used all of the collectors features because you can start getting into like Mobius fuel and uh, or alchemical coal, Mobius fuel, the uh, Atenalis fuel, uh, and this, I think you can charge, I think you can use this for upgrades, like you put a, a Mobius fuel in here and it will charge it up into the next level. I, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Um, this is mostly what I use the collectors and relays for. Uh, and here you can see the relay charging, uh, and it's kind of similar to the bat box in how there's a top slot for charging and a bottom slot for adding power to the bat box. This is the same thing. You can put uh, Klein stars for uh, which are basically th they're the equivalent exchange version of batteries. Put them into here for charging, uh, and you can put your fuel and stuff into here to help charge those. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of charging. It's kind of slow. We've only got one one Mark One collector and one Mark One relay. Um, so it's it's pretty slow, but if I were to put something in here, say glowstone, that energy is now being passed out of the relay and into the condenser. And now once this hits zero, uh, it'll just pass it directly into the condenser. Okay, now it's getting dark, so I can show you that you know there's this room is lit up so there's torches in here it's uh, so it's got light um, but also as I said this ge generates its own light being based off of glowstone so it'll still continue to charge up so let's go back downstairs real quick where's my dirt uh, I'll uh, develop a smarter system than just putting dirt in front of the door. Right now this is just what I'm doing just to make it easier. Oh, should probably put dirt in front of this door. Oh, I already did. Yay. So now what we'll do is we'll just clear that. And what this does is just, you know, gives us easy access into the chest. Maybe I should put a little podium here and just... Eh. So yeah, that way we can just leave that up there and just let it charge. I'm going to let it charge glowstone for now because we are going to need more glowstone here soon because we want to make more collectors obviously. Um, but yeah, that's pretty handy. It's pretty handy. Uh, an additional thing I wanted to do in this video is uh, some, something uh, one of my subscribers mentioned uh, and I, I think we're in a position to do it. I think we're in a position to do it. Oh, got some coal there. Um, we're gonna upgrade our armor so what we're gonna do is get into some uh, nano technology uh, and I'm specifically looking at the uh, the nano armor uh, 
which when to me it's actually really cheap because um, it offers more when it's charged it offers more protection than diamond and it only costs four diamond because <laughs> you know each one of these takes an energy crystal which is one diamond surrounded by redstone these carbon plates which you haven't seen yet um, is just compressed coal uh, and I'll show you what I mean um, you, what you do is you macerate coal into coal dust. You then combine that coal dust together like this to get your raw carbon fibers. So that's four coal dust to get, so that's four coal basically to get one fiber. Then you br combine two fibers together to get a carbon mesh. So that's eight coal, gets you one carbon mesh. So then you compress that carbon mesh into a carbon plate in a compressor, which we have. So so basically every plate equals eight coal. So we have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Is that right? It doesn't sound right. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 21. So, 21 times 8, because it's 8 coal per plate. i got to bring up a calculator, actually. 21 times 8. That's 168 coal. Well, we got an energy condenser. We can, we can manage that. Right? Boom. Alright, so let's just put all this here. So that's about 168. We'll say it, it's less than three stacks, but we'll we'll shoot for three stacks. That'll that'll be our goal. Um, why not? Not really using lapis at the moment, and we can always get more. Throw in a stack of lapis. Boo! Oh yeah! <laughs> wow, we are good on coal for a while. Okay. Throw in the diamond there. Okay, we got our one coal. Alright, so let's just macerate three stacks worth of coal here. Fix that. How's this doing? Hey, you got our first glowstone. Let's uh, teach it to our transportation table. That's how much glowstone's worth. Not too bad. So what, like a gem and a half? Something like that. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Actually, is glowstone a fuel? It is a fuel. Wow. Aww. Oh, because it's not enough. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, we'll macerate, uh, macerate some coal. Let's move some stuff around here. Like so. Let's some obsidian. What we got? Alright, so I'll wait till we have eight. It's an even number. So, in, in, you know, you see what I mean? I mean, it's just, it's coal. It's four diamond, and it's just, you know, a crap load of coal. But, so there we go. Got a couple there, so that's, that's three plates right there, man. Throw that in the compressor, which is also loud. <laughs> So, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, we are going to need another bit of diamonds, though. So, let's, uh, <laughs> let's use some more uranium there. And we need four energy crystals. I think we got enough. Yeah, we got enough. Boom. <laughs> Almost out of redstone there, man. So, I mean, you can see tech, it's pretty resource intensive. I mean, you spend a lot of your time crafting in one room. Uh-oh, you see that? Let me zoom in. 
Check out the quarry. It's discovered lava. Let's go check it out, actually. I, I, I'm curious. While this stuff is, uh... While this stuff's going. Throw our diamonds in here. Okay. Get some more... Get some more compressed. There we go. Oop. There's an extra step we forgot there. <laughs> Alright. So let's go check out the lava. The lava. Why is that thing black? It's weird. Never seen it dark like that. Alright. Hopefully we don't get, like, creeper ninja. Lava! Nice lava pool down there. Some redstone. Some nickelite. Oh, there's some water there. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Pretty cool. So it must be hitting about diamond level now. Hmm. I wonder if it's worth setting up a pump. Getting some geothermal energy going. Problem now, since we've hit a lava pool, the uh, quarry is actually going to stop. Because it won't mine past that lava. It's a cave there. So, either we're going to have to drop water down and turn that into obsidian. Oh, actually, it just might do it for us. Ah! That helped. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, let's go check on our stuff. Check on our stuff. Getting some more. Whoop. Get some more coal done. And even if you, uh, if you make extra coal, I mean that's not a problem. Make sure extra uh, coal dust. That's not really a problem because, uh, you know, it, coal dust is used for other things as well. So not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, I guess we can can actually make something. Uh, what I do with my crystals? All right. What can we make? We can make the the nano leggings. Now you'll notice they're not charged. We need to charge them. Stick them in an MFE, and they'll start to charge. Now, like the mining laser or <laughs> anything else that requires an electrical charge. They do take a decent amount, and I don't think you can put them into a bat box. I don't. I know the mining laser you can't put in a bat box. Pretty sure. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, gotta do. Uh, gotta do an MFE there. See, there we go. Yep, fully charged. Now we can equip. Hoosha. Now, I think if your iron armor, oh darn, maybe, can you repair it? Oh, you can, with the covalence dust. Uh, this one. There we go, repaired, and there we go. Now we can break it back down into useful iron bars. <laughs> See, that alloy furnace is handy, I gotta tell you. There we go. What else What else can we do? What else can we make? Pretty cool. Okay. Let's make it an even number, shall we? <laughs> There we go. Into the compressor. Oh, we can make something else. Um, let's make the boots. Those boots. Yep, boots. Charge the boots. Now, later on, what you can do, and I, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it or not. Um, I don't feel like it's worth it, but later on, what you can do is you can upgrade your nano armor into quantum armor. Now, the quantum armor is very expensive. Um, 
quite expensive. Um, it requires a Lepertron crystal, which I don't think we've actually got to. Um, maybe we have. It's basically uh, an advanced energy crystal, as you can see here. Um, uh, it also requires your your nano armor and these advanced alloys, which we've we've made for the mining lasers, so you know what those are. It also requires these iridium plates, which oop, let me go back. Also requires these iridium plates, which are a diamond, some advanced alloys, and requires iridium ore. Now you can't you can't hit I on the iridium ore. Doesn't work. Sorry about that again. I'm, I'm a popular person today, I guess. <laughs> Getting a couple phone calls. But anyway, as I was saying, the uh, iridium plates that you need to uh, to update your nano armor to the quantum armor is is very expensive because of these iridium ores, which you can't hit the recipe button on. Um, you start getting into uh, mass fabrication. I don't even know if I can find... Oh, I can. It requires these UU matters, and you need like seven of them to make one ore. Uh, it gets it gets crazy, and we may get into that later. Uh, I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, but but anyway, so yeah, I guess sitting here was actually a good thing because it got all this stuff done. Um, oh, actually, hold on. We don't want to turn all of it into carbon mesh. <laughs> um, Okay. How many plates we need? We need. Let me go back here. We need the chest plate and the helmet now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So which? So we need twenty-two. <laughs> really. Oh wow, are we actually what? Are we actually not gonna have enough? Did I miscalculate? Oh, I had crap. <laughs> oh well, we'll just make them all. I forgot I already had plates. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, that's that's probably it for this episode. Um, so let's see how this thing's been doing. Yeah, five so far. So hopefully, you know, that'll keep going. Um, this is actually still going, it appears. Let's go check it out. Oh, I'm surprised this didn't get broken down. Uh, oh, did it create a cobblestone generator? Yes, it did. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, there's some silver there. That's the same thing that happened to uh, in my world tour server. Okay, sorry about that again. Um, I am actually going to have to go ahead and bring this episode to a close. Um, but I just wanted to kind of, you know, show you guys this last recipe. How it's a little different. Um, it adds a little bit of glass there uh, and so you know once you get them all once you get them all charged up it's actually actually pretty cool looking now let's get a uh, let's get our iron back this covalent stuff is actually pretty handy I, I never thought I would use it in such a fashion um, and just get our iron back <laughs> very handy anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh, you know as always, like, favorite, uh, dang it, okay, anyway, sorry, sorry once again, alright, I gotta end this off here, so next time, nope, see, got the full set going, um, next time on TechIt, uh, I don't know, don't really have time to think about it right now, uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out, <laughs> sorry, sorry guys. Uh, 
What's over there? Some sapphires. What's a lava down here? I'm telling you. Yeah, isn't this thing cool? It's a nice alternative to the pickaxe, I suppose. Oh man.